A Comox Valley couple in the business of fostering wildlife says this year has been like no other. The pair has been caring for orphaned and injured deer for more than two decades now. And right now, they are nursing 14 animals back to health. That's about twice the usual number. Gord Kerbis has the story. When it comes to cute, there's just no beating images of a young fawn enjoying a meal or taking part in a bit of a wrestling match. Or how about exploring a camera lens? These are just a few of the fawns being nursed back to health in the Comox Valley. It's called a soft release. A lot of the other facilities, what they do, a hard release. They raise them in a confine like this, and they pack them into a van and haul them off into the woods and let them go, which I think is, I don't imagine the survival is too good. Pat Brown Clayton and his wife Janice have been rehabilitating injured deer on this 10-acre property for more than 23 years. It's an operation the public normally doesn't get to see, but we're being permitted a special look. Some we get direct, but others, most of the ones, we try to keep them separate. It was a small group, and usually they've been quarantined by somebody else. And then we take them, and then the bottle feeding begins. Merville's Mountaineer Avian Rescue Society normally acts as a sort of a first responder whenever deer are in trouble. But the group doesn't have the room or ability to keep fawns for too long. That's why they're sent here. They come to Pat, uh, who has this lovely property where he then um, gradually puts them from smaller pens to larger pens, and then they finally are integrated with the local herd. Some are here because they've been injured, but too often fawns have to be brought here because of well-meaning but mistaken human intervention. Mother's probably off foraging for food. She hides them in the, in the bushes and will come back for them. And some well-meaning person comes along, thinks they've been orphaned and abandoned, picks them up, brings them to us, and then it's very difficult to take them back because you don't know where the doe may be by then. The former conservation officer and occasional hunter admits he never thought he'd be helping injured deer and there are days those efforts can take several hours. We start off usually four feedings a day right and then um, and then there's down we're down to one feeding but usually in the morning we make the milk give them their bottle feed them all and then again at noon and then usually supper time and then just before dark. Brown Clayton says he and his wife normally assist around eight deer each year, but right now they're helping out 14 fawns. Previously, the couple picked up all the expenses, but now they're getting some help. The Mars and uh, North Island Wildlife Recovery, they help out. They do the advertising and stuff like that. And the, the milk is the only is the expensive one. It kind of runs about $200 a fawn by the time you get them out into the wild. The advice that Brown Clayton and the avian rescue staff have is to leave fawns you've discovered for at least 24 hours. That way it can be better determined if they really need help or not. In the Comox Valley, Gord Kerbis, A News.